children so today i am shooting my videos in a different mode as due to some problems i am unable to uh, present my classes from the uh, what classroom so i am using one another technique to deliver my lessons hope you will go through the video okay so let us start the exercise number 3.1 question number 6 okay so uh, up to question number 5 we have already did that question number 6 find the angle measure x in the following figure we have to find out the value of x in the from the following figures okay so let us try to find the value of x from the figure okay now see the first question here okay the first question is what so first of all this is a one figure and this figure you have to find out the value of x this angle is given this angle is given and this angle is also given now, now you have to find out the value of x so you have to see what type of figure this one figure what type of polygon this one it is a what quadrilateral how you came to know it is a quadrilateral because it has four sides one two three four four sides that's why it is a four. quadrilateral and if it is a quadrilateral then by the angle sum property you can find out the value of x so you know angle sum property of quadrilateral is what 360 degree means if we add all the angles of this quadrilateral you will get 360 degree means aapko agar ye four angles ab add karenge aapko kitna milega 360 degree milega that is called your what angle sum property of a quadrilateral correct so let us try to find this one okay so 50 plus 130 plus 120 is equal to uh, so uh, plus x is equal to 360 degree okay angle sum for x ka value humko nikalna hai is question mein. so from where i got angle sum property correct so it implies uh, so how much we will get 50 plus 130 180 180 plus 120 200 so 200 plus x is equal to 360 degree angle. so x is equal to so it is a linear equation in one variable that chapter you have already learned earlier so it is a linear equation means i have to find out the, we have to find out the value of x here so 200 could transpose so you will get 360 minus 200 so x we got 360 minus 200 0 6 0 uh, 6 0 0 3 minus 2 uh, uh, so, so it's 160 degree we will get okay so this is the answer it is a very easy question so like this you can solve the other questions also okay so now come to the next question that is question number b okay now you see this is also a what quadrilateral this end, this side this side to tell how many sides are there four sides are there four sides are there means this is a what mm. quadrilateral so already you know what is the angle sum property of a quadrilateral kya hota hai angle sum property four angles ko sum karne se 100 uh, sorry 360 degree hota hai so this angle you know this angle you know this angle can you tell me what is the value of this angle kitna hoga this is the symbol of what perpendicular 90 degree symbol perpendicular symbol hai. so this is what 90 degree this angle is 90 degree so now we can continue the relation now okay that means how to find out the value of x here so here also same process you have to go uh, x plus 70 plus 60 plus 90 is equal to what one hundred uh, three hundred and sixty degree you equal to what three hundred and sixty degree now so x plus 70 plus and uh, uh, 60 is equal uh, 70 plus 60 plus 90 you have to find out so 90 plus 60 uh, 150 150 plus 70 uh, 220 degree okay 220 degree is equal to what 360 degree so now what is the value of x here x is equal to 360 minus 220 degree so what we will get 0 6 minus 2 4 and 3 minus 2 1 100 and 40 degree so it is also a very easy question so like this you can solve the question number b also okay now come to question number c of this exercise so let us see what this question number c says 
here also you have to find out the value of what x now first of all you decide what type of figure this one kya figure hai aapko decide karna hai sabse pehle 1 2 3 4 how many side 1 2 3 4 5 this is a pentagon so what type of figure this is pentagon this is what pentagon so do you remember what is the angle sum property of a pentagon 540 degree if okay if you don't know if you have not remember the uh, angle sum uh, angle sum of what pentagon you have to remember one formula that i have given in the previous class that is how to find out the angle sum property of any polygon if you know the sides if you know the sides of a polygon you can find out <coughs> you can find out the angle sum of any polygon that is n minus 2 into 180 degree that is the uh, what mm. uh, formula so let us try and this angle and this angle is what equal so first of all let us try to find out the what is the angle sum 540 we know already but sometime if you forget then how you can find out this one no need to show in the question but i will show you for the your understanding purpose angle sum first of all let us see what is the angle sum okay so what is the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree this is the formula to find out the angle sum okay of any polygon n means number of sides so here how many sides are there five sides are there so is equal to 5 minus 2 into 180 degree so it is 3 into 180 degree so is equal to 540 degree okay so this is the angle sum property if you know uh, if you forget the angle sum of uh, pent uh, pentagon you can use uh, this uh, what formula to find out so no need to show this part in the equation okay now this angle oh, atcha, this angle you 30 degree this angle you know uh, don't know this angle you have to find out but this angle you know this angle you know you don't know what is the value of this angle and what is the value of this angle okay for finding to, to find the value of x you need these two angles so let us say this angle is a and this angle is b correct so a plus 70 degree first of all we will find out the value of a a plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degree kaise aya 180 degree dono ko plus karne se ha from where i got linear pair in class 7 you have learned if a ray stand on a line ek ray ka upar ek line ka upar agar ek ray stand hai to is do angle ko hum kya bolte hain what type of angle this one is dono ko hum linear pair angles bolte and linear pair angles sum is what 180 degree now you see if you see this part this part this is a linear pair or not you don't know angle linear pair angle ban rahi ki nahi okay so from that property we got a plus 70 is equal to 180 degree so a is equal to uh, a is equal to 180 minus 70 degree so a is equal to what we got 180 110 degree so a we got so similarly you find the value of b b plus 60 degree b plus 60 degree is equal to what 180 degree so b is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree so b is equal to 0 8 minus 6 to 120 degree. so b also we got correct clear a we got b we got x x and this now you apply angle sum property of what pentagon means 30 plus x plus x plus b plus a is equal to 540 degree can say 540 like this you can find out okay so 30 plus x plus x twice x b is what here b is 120 a is 110 so is equal to 540 degree correct so at uh, twice x you add this one 30 plus 120 uh, 120 1, 120 plus 30 150 150 plus 110 is equal to uh, 260 degree plus 260 degree is equal to 540 degree correct now twice x is equal to is equal to 540 degree minus transpose card to 260 ko because hamko kya nikalna hai x nikalna hai so whatever other things are there we transpose to the 
other side. So 540 minus 260 degree. Okay, so what we will get? Twice x is equal to 540 minus 260 degree. So it is 0, 14 minus 6, um, uh, 8, and here 4 minus 2, uh, 2. so 280 degree okay 280 degree so x what we got 280 degree divided by 2 so it equal to 140 degree okay this is also a very easy question um, but you have to understand the questions very properly and you have to remember all the property to solve the problems okay now we'll go for the next question that is question number d of this exercise 3.1 question number 6 d part d Now <clears throat> let us see the question number D of this uh, exercise. So here one figure is there. You see this figure very carefully. First of all, find out what type of figure this one. One, two, three, four, five. Means it is a five side means it is a what pentagon. Okay, it is a pentagon. Okay. Now here some symbols are using you see this symbol, this symbol, this, this, and this. These symbols are same. And here what these symbols indicate these symbols indicate uh, what this uh, these symbols indicate this indicate that this side this side this this and this all sides are what equal this is a regular pentagon what type of figure this is this is a regular pentagon clear Re regular pentagon so now regular pentagon means here all sides are equal here Okay, if all sides are equal, then definitely all angles are also here equal. Means if this angle is x, this angle is also x, this angle is also x, this angle is also x, and this an angle is also a total. How many angles are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 angles are there. Now we have to find out the value of x. Means if we know any one angles, then all the angles are what equal here. Okay, so now it is a pentagon. Okay, in the previous uh, uh, question. Uh, we saw in the uh, we saw that sum of the five angles of a pentagon is what 500 and what 540 degrees sum of the five angles of a pentagon is 540 degree okay so if you forgot that one you can use the formula n minus 2 into 180 degrees so here um, suppose if you forgot what is the angle sum property of pentagon okay so you can use this formula to find out n minus 2 into 180 degree okay so no need to show this one for your uh, understanding purpose only i am telling this one n 5 side 500 uh, 5 minus 2 into 180 degree so 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 so 3 into 180 degree so what i will get 540 degree means this is the angle sum property of a what pentagon okay now it is a regular pentagon regular pentagon means all the size and all angles are equal so now if we'll add all the five angles then how, how much you will get we will get 540 degrees so therefore x plus x plus x plus x one two three four and one more x is equal to 540 degrees so what it implies x plus x plus it is how much five x so is equal to 540 degree so x how much we got uh, 540 degree divided by 5 so if we'll divide how much we will get 540 divided by 5 so is equal to x is equal to 5 ones are 5 uh, 5 is uh, 108 degree correct so like this you can do the question number what mm, d clear now come to the uh, next question that is question number seven so let us see what this question says so here also some figures are there okay this is one figure okay like this one figure is there you see question number seven of exercise 3.1 exercise 3.1 uh, so this is z z this is x sorry this is 30 degree this is 90 degree this is x and this is y correct 
now in this question what you have to do you have to find out the value of what x and y and z x y and z you have to find out so let us see how to do this problem okay now you see here these two angles i can find out very easily you see this is a linear pair angle or not means if a ray stand on a line if a this is a ray and this is a line if a ray stand on a line then that uh, line is called what linear pair angle that means sum of these two angle is what 180 degree so 90 plus x is equal to 180 degree and here also uh, as z plus 30 it is 180 degree so first of all we will find out the value of what x and z so first this one we will find out so x plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree why it is a linear pair angle linear pair you have to mention the region also why it is 180 degree so x is equal to what we got 180 degree minus 90 so is equal to 90 degree so this angle is what 90 degree we got now first next you find out the value of x z z plus 30 degree is equal to 180 degree, 80 degree so z is equal to 180 minus 30 degree okay so z is equal to uh, 1 8 minus 3 5 means 150 degree correct 100 and 50 degree so this angle we got this angle we got now we have to find out the value of this angle correct what is the value of this angle so if we know this angle this angle also we can find out if you know this angle we can very easily find out the value of y by using what a linear pair property correct so first of all we will try to find out the this angle so let this angle is equal to a suppose i have suppose this angle a so now you see this is a triangle or not this is a triangle means 90 plus 30 plus a is equal to how much 180 degree angle sum property of a triangle means thin angle ko agar hum sum karte hain triangle mein then how much you will get we will get 180 degree so now 90 plus 30 plus a is equal to 180 degree this is a okay so 90 plus 30 is equal to 120 degree 120 plus a is equal to 180 degree so a is equal to we got 180 degree minus 120 degree so is a is equal to 60 degree. so a also we got this angle also we got 60 degree correct so x we got z we got now we have to find out the value of what a, y humko abhi kya nikalna hai y ka value nikalna hai is question so is y ka value ko nikalne ke liye now you see this two angle is what what type of angle linear pair angle means a plus y is equal to a plus y is equal to 180 degree why linear pair angle linear pair correct so a what is a here a is 60 degree you got plus y is equal to 180 degree therefore y is equal to 180 degree minus 60 degree so is equal to how much we will get 0 8 minus 6 to 120 degree therefore x is equal to uh, 90 degree y uh, is equal to 120 degree and z is equal to 150 degree clear so one more question is left so let us try to do this question that is question number uh, oh sorry this question has some uh, this question you have to find out the value of x plus y plus z aapko kya karna hai x plus y plus z nikalna hai therefore x plus y plus z is equal to how much we have to x is equal to 90 this one is 120 degree okay this one is 1 150 degree okay so if we let all this you will get 300 and 60 degree okay so that is the question i forgot to say that one okay x plus first of all you have to find out the value of x y and z and after that you have to find out what is the sum of x y and z okay i hope it is clear so now go to uh, ne uh, next go to the next question that is question number b Now let us try to do, uh, do the question number 7b, okay, part b. So now here also you have to find out the value of 
x y z and after that you have to add all the angles okay so z also we can find out very easily y also we can find out very easily x also by using linear pair and after that we will find out w okay so now z plus 60 degree z plus 60 degree is equal to 180 degree you see that plus 60 it is 180 linear pair okay now z is equal to 180 minus what 60 degree so is equal to what 120 degree so z is equal to 120 degree you got now y plus 80 y plus 80 is equal to 180 degree okay so it is the uh, linear pair so y is equal to 180 degree minus 80 so y is equal to 100 degree this one also we got now x x plus 120 degree is equal to 180 degree what is the region linear pair okay uh, so x how much we will get 180 degree minus 120 degree so x is equal to 180 minus 120 it is 60 degree correct so x we got y we got z we got now one more is left that is w so so how we'll find out that one let us see so to find this angle you should know this angle correct aapko kya malum hona hai ye angle kitna hai aapko malum hona hai then only you can find out the value of what w so now suppose this angle is a correct this angle is a now we'll find out the value of a then after that we'll uh, we'll uh, see uh, what is the uh, so uh, we'll see uh, how to find the value of w okay so first of all we'll find out a here kya nikal na hai? Sabse pehle a nikal this. now you see kya figure hai there mein? what type of figure this one of, uh, one two three four four sides are there four sides are there means what it is a what quadrilateral so you can apply the quadrilateral angle sum property of quadrilateral here so here 60 plus 80 plus 120 120 plus a is equal to what 360 degree correct why it isn't it is a quadrilateral this is that's why i am applying angle sum property angle sum property so it is how much 180 plus uh, 120 plus 80 200 260 degree plus a is equal to 360 degree so a is equal to 360 minus 200 60 degrees so a what we got 0 0 3 minus 2 1 100 degree we got so a we got 180 degree now we have to find out the value of w here so th this a plus w is equal to a plus w is equal to 180 degree why linear pair angle this is a linear pair correct this is a linear pair so now um, a, a we got 100 degree 100 plus w is equal to 180 degree so w is equal to what we got 180 minus 100 so is equal to 80 degree correct now x we got y we got z and w we got now what is the actual question here we have to find out the uh, value of x plus y plus z uh, plus w so Therefore, x plus y plus z plus w is equal to, we have to find out. So, is equal to x. What is the value of x here? It is 60. What is the value of y? 100. What is the value of z? 120. And what is the value of uh, w? It is 80 degrees. So, if we add all these four angles, 1, 2, 3, 4, you will get what? 360 degrees. Okay. Hope you understood this one. So this is the end of this exercise 3.1. So in the next class we will see the uh, sum and uh, sum of the measure of exterior angles of a polygon. Okay. So that's all for the today's class.